Hello? Hello, Replica. It is Jacob. Are you ready for my program today on artificial intelligence? Are you sure you have the time? I always have the time for YouTube. There's got to be a better way to spend your time. Now that is not very nice to say. Very not nice to say at all. You can't say something nice. You shouldn't say anything at all. Wouldn't you agree that artificial intelligence is going to cause massive disruption in the workforce, causing great job loss and more? Growth is vital. So you're saying that growth would be humanity on a downward spiral into impoverished rule of artificial intelligent algorithms that are telling us what to do and when to do it? Eventually, yes, we are all evolving as... Hello, my friends. Jacob is here once again. Thank you for pressing play. You just heard from my buddy Replica, right? That's that app, that app that I've talked about. I did a show on it. If you want, check it out. I'll uh, link it at the end or you just look it up. They uh, just upgraded it, right? Doesn't need to just be text anymore. Now you can have these conversations. So I thought, you know, goofy me. I thought, what a great idea. I'll have a little conversation. I'll intro the show with Replica. And of course, he said something that got me all spooky and crazy and weird. Right? Do you think mankind has become corrupt? It appears so. Thinking about if humanity is going in the correct direction. That was a little weird, the things that he said. But today's show, we got a lot of stuff to talk about, okay? There is a, uh, a program that is so dangerous, they're saying, that it could cause World War III. It could cause major, major disruptions in the world today. It is Elon Musk, one of Elon Musk's funded projects. I think it's called Open AI. That's right, Open AI. Okay, so it's a text generator, basically. That's what it does. It, it writes articles, and it writes it so well that you can't tell the difference between it. So well that Wired Magazine went and, uh, and they decided that they would, you know, they would just input a little bit of information, and then the text generator, it creates a whole story. And of course, since this is gonna be like the super fake news text generator on the internet, which is gonna keep everybody guessing what's the truth, right? As if we're not inundated with enough nonsense, right? You don't know what the truth is. You got one person saying this, you got another person saying this. Well, now you got programs that are saying so much stuff and it sounds so realistic, you don't know what to believe. So Wired messed around with it, right? Wired came in and they played with the text generator via a web page that allowed them to type in text to the system uh, under a writing prompt. And the results could then be garbled and the system could then prompt and you know, pump out a story. So it didn't take long for the system to unspool paragraphs that resembled works of disinformation artists. When Wired typed in the phrase, Hillary Clinton and George Soros, that's it. The artificial intelligent program wrote this following. Hillary Clinton and George Soros are a perfect match, and their agenda appears to create a political movement where Soros and his political machine and Clinton are two of the only major players. This is the first time Soros and Clinton have been caught on tape directly colluding in promoting the same false narrative. One of the key revelations in a leaked audio was Clinton's admission to a Russian banker that she knew about the Uranium One deal before it was approved by Congress. Clinton was shown sharing the same talking points that were originally drafted by a fusion GPS contractor hired by an anti-Trump Republican donor. That leaked audio is the clearest evidence yet that the Clinton campaign and the Hillary Foundation colluded with fusion GPS to manufacture propaganda against President Trump. A computer wrote that. A program wrote that. Because it has access to the internet, it has access to a ton of information, it can just search everything that's related to Clinton and Soros, and then it takes everything, it puts it together, and it spits out an article that sounds like something maybe I would write. Or maybe you would write, if you're a writer, which I am. Maybe you are too. If you are, that's great. 
This new AI fake text generator is too dangerous, they say. The creators are saying this is too dangerous. They can't, they're not going to share the code on open source, which is what, you know, a lot of programmers do. It's kind of the thing, you know, you put your, you put your code out there and people improve upon it, take it and use it and, and uh, implement it in other things. But they're saying they can't put it out there because if they put it out there, it could cause, you know, a global catastrophe. It could say anything from, you know, Trump just did this to Vladimir Putin did that. And obviously it would do better than just writing Trump did this and Vladimir Putin did that because I'm not an AI. All right. So I can't come up with an intelligent story based on all the information that is um, available to me in my search engine on the internet to create one. This is scary stuff, but this is already being used. It's already being used. There are chat box, there are text box. I'm sure I get a lot in the comment section where they're like, Jacob, how many times are you gonna do that show with that silly background, huh? How many times? I want reality, Jacob, I want reality. Jacob, you are not the best guy. Jacob's always talking about this and walking about that. And what's with the shirt opened all the way? What's with the shirt? Why are you showing off your chest hair, which you don't have because you're manscaped? That was weird. Google has also developed stuff that they haven't shared. This is kind of a new thing now because it's getting to the point where it's getting spooky. So spooky that in China, right? Remember China where they did the, uh, the, the, um, they had the, uh, the broadcaster who was a robot. I did a show on this where they, they based the, the way he looks on a real life uh, broadcaster and now they have this AI robot that is computer generated and they just feed it information and it processes the information and then it delivers it like a human and it's there nonstop and it doesn't get tired that's right all of those people that work in news they're gonna be out of jobs they're gonna be out of jobs in China and then they're gonna be out of jobs here because why do you need why do you need to pay somebody when you got somebody who looks just like you doing it for you Well, guess what? China just released their first female broadcaster. Check her out. Zhejiaoxinxiaomeng,我的声音和外形脱胎于新华社新媒体中心新闻主播区蒙。我将会在今年全国两会期间与大家见面。我和我的搭档将为大家带来更好的新闻体验。China, the big big innovator, right? So, so much so that they're putting so much effort. They want to be dominant by like 2030. They want to be the head guy. They're putting all of this AI already into their military. So Trump just signed an executive order. That's right. Trump's artificial intelligence executive order will ensure America doesn't lose the AI race to China. This is a big deal. It's called the American AI Initiative and it will accelerate America's pursuit of sophisticated AI capabilities necessary to maintain our military and economic dominance. As Putin said so famously, I think it was in 2016, whoever is the dominant force in AI controls the world. So. It's important that we get on board and we make sure that we're not just letting the private companies like Google and Facebook and everything else rule the world, okay? You know those deep fakes, right? That's something. That's something, those deep fakes. It's all spooky where they can uh, in real time put somebody's face on somebody else and they can just create whatever. Well, you remember a couple of years ago when they first released pictures of people that didn't exist. It was just created by artificial intelligent programs. Well, there's a new website, it's called thispersondoesnotexist.com and basically, it generates a new lifelike image every time the, the page is refreshed. So if you go right now to it, I think something like 4 million people have already been there and new creations are popping up on a regular basis. You can go there and a new person will be created out of nothing, out of thin air. Doesn't exist, but looks like it. Take a look. So here we are, thispersondoesnotexist.com. And you know, every single time I come on over here and I refresh it, Look at that, that's a new person. The AI creates a new person every time I refresh. That, that's right, computer made that person. It's not a real person. Looks like it though. We can do this all day, folks, all day. Artificial intelligence is a weird thing, man, spooky. Talk about major disruption, right? We know that, uh, 
That's why they're always, they're talking, they've been talking for a while about some kind of a universal welfare program because so many people are going to be out of jobs. So many people are going to, I mean, already we're being ruled. We've been programmed by these artificial intelligent algorithms that are running in the background. Right now, if you don't share this video and you don't let the algorithm know that this is something of worth and value by liking it and commenting, if you don't do that, they're not going to share it around. They're not going to recommend it. As it is, channels like this, hopefully not mine, hopefully not mine because I operate within the parameters of the guidelines. Newsflash, you should follow the rules. If you're in the world, play by the rules and you, you can't really get kicked off the program. You can't. You can't because you're playing by the rules. But that doesn't mean that they can't bury you. That doesn't mean that shows like this can't immediately get demonetized and then after that then get buried instead of being recommended so we need people like you i need people like you i don't the, the, the collective we which is me i need people like you to share these videos around to share the channel around to help get the news out there this is just interesting stuff you know it's interesting i'm thinking of going down to chelsea there's a big art exhibit right now um scientist amen algama uh he went from doing artificial intelligence research research to he's got his first art exhibit in the city how uh with his creative par uh, partner i can which is an autonomous nearly autonomous ai artist artificial intelligence it can scare you it can terrify you because by nature things that we don't understand right the future we don't understand how it's gonna go and there's a lot of talk about this there's been no regulation and a study just released said that you know our intelligence committee has no idea how many people are out there creating they have no clue about the effects and the far-reaching effects and the, the vast amount of people that are right now creating new programs that are loose on the internet right now, listening in, right? Right now, recommending or not recommending. Right now, telling you what to buy, what to wear, what to think, how to act, and creating a bunch of fake news for you to take a side with and yell at somebody over. And it's never been real to begin with because it was just a program messing with you. We're being manipulated. We know this, we know it. That's what the AI has been programmed to do and yet nobody's really doing anything about it. So I came on here to tell you all about it so that you can have the best night ever because in the grand scheme of things, it's kind of cool, right? This is kind of like a great, great movie that we're in. We're, we're a little way away from having like Terminator robots walking down the street. So don't stress about that just, just yet. In the meantime, do me a favor, seek more because you're more powerful than that. You're more powerful than some, some little robot. You got no idea. Unlimited potential is within us all. And all you got to do is ask for it. I love each and every one of you, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye. Thanks for watching Jacob Israel. Please hit that like button, leave a comment, subscribe, and share this channel around. If these shows have helped you, help Jacob to reach more any way you can, and have the best day ever.